Hi guys, do you ever heard of Microbit board from BBC? If yes, then this video is for you. And if not, then this video is definitely for you. Watch this video till the end and I am definitely sure you will love this product. So today I have two products. The first one Microbit board itself and the second one is McQueen. That is an extension robot for Microbit. We will discuss about both of them one by one. So let's take a look at the Microbit board. The BBC Microbit is a pocket size computer that lets you get creative with digital technology. Each order contains just the Microbit board. You can code, customize and control your Microbit board from anywhere. You can use the Microbit for all sorts of unique creations from robots to musical instruments and more. At half the size of credit card, you will be surprised at the amount of hardware each board is equipped with, including 25 red LEDs that flash messages. There are two programmable buttons that can be used to control games or pause or skip songs on a playlist. The microbit can be even detect motion and tell you which direction you are heading. It can also use Bluetooth Low Energy BLE to interact with other devices and even access the internet. Take a closer look at the front of the board. You can see a 5x5 LED array that you can use as a light sensor, a tiny screen to draw on, display words, number and other information and the two programmable buttons. Finally, at the bottom of the board, you will find 20 gold tabbed edge pins and 5 ring connectors. 3 for digital or analog input output, 2 for power and ground. For hooking up external components, the tab with larger holes can easily be used for alligator clips. Microbit has even supplied a mobile app that can let you send your code to Microbit board over the Bluetooth. With the app, you can be able to interact with your Microbit on a higher level of accessibility. My first impression on this thing was like, wow, how they managed to put too much thing over the small board. Like there is compass, accelerometer, Bluetooth, LED matrix, buttons and many more. Now comes the second board which I opened. This was the McQueen. You can say this is a shield for the microbit. The same shield as we used for Arduino to extend its features like as we use the motor driver shield for Arduino, this is the same thing. The unboxing experience was awesome. They packed everything in separate packets with appropriate information on them so that a beginner could easily assess them. This thing comes with an ultrasonic sensor, two wheels, battery holder and the board itself. When I saw the board, the first thing I noticed were the motors. Those are awesome. Metal Geared's high quality DC motors. Then I noticed a few more things like I squared C bus, which is given on the top of the board. And there are and there is also a buzzer, IR receiver, and two red LEDs on the front. If we take a look on the lower side, there are four RGB LEDs, two IR sensor for line following, and much more on this thing. This thing is awesome. They packed too much in a small piece like this. Then I assembled it easily. Even a fifth grade students can do it easily. And finally added the microbit board on it. Then I went to their website to check how to code this thing. We actually code this thing by just putting on some bricks which are actually small functions. Just fit the bricks as you want them to work and, and it's done. When we click on new project, we will get this display. On the left hand side, you will see the microbit board. Then you will find a set of different blocks. Then on the empty side, you can just drag and drop the blocks from the blocks corner to the empty part and just place the blocks wherever you want. The own start block is as same as the setup function as we use in the Arduino IDE and the forever block is same as the loop function. 
which keeps on repeating itself infinite times. After adding a few blocks, you can click download. A .hex file will be downloaded. Now connect your board using a data cable to your computer and a window will pop out. Just paste the code there or you can also drag and drop. And that's it, the code is uploaded. But wait, this way we can code the micro bit only. But if we have to code the micro bit for the MacWin, we have to use an extension. Now again open the editor, just go to extensions, copy this URL, I have given this URL in the description of this video and click search. You will find MacWin, just select this. Now you will get an additional set of blocks which is named as MacWin. Now you have the access to MacWin functions also. Just code as you want it and the uploading procedure will be same. I made a collision avoidance robot and it works great. Make anything you want with this thing like a line follower or a IR remote controlled car. And don't forget the RGB LED lighting and the two extendable ports for extra purposes like servo motor attachments. Now comes the mobile app. Download the mobile app from the link in the description and connect it with your board by the instructions provided and code your board wirelessly using Bluetooth. I have provided full instructions and code for this thing on my website on my website robocircuits.com. Just go there and find everything you need to know about this. If you have any questions, you can ping me directly in the comment box or through my website. There may be a few questions arising in your mind. For who this product is made for? Actually this product is made for kids who are eager to learn coding. Parents can gift this thing to their kids on their birthday instead of buying video games for them. This thing is also good for makers. Makers can have a great time with this. Just a new mode of coding and on the go hardware setup. Instead of searching for breadboards and jumper wires, just go with this baby. So that was it for today. If you want this product, the link is given in the description and also on my website. Go and check out that. Tell me in comment what you think about this product. Do you want more reviews for such products? Consider visiting my Facebook page. I also post my videos there also. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you are new here. See you in the next video.